Yes, amen, glory to praise God. Evangelist Andrew Kelly here, once again with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen, praise God, hallelujah, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. You know, praise God, there are souls who don't believe. You know, praise God, I was at a restaurant today, uh, Tim Hortons, and uh, we had uh, this, uh, one lady talking uh, to a table across from me how she likes this Dr. So-and-so on TV, Dr. Jeremiah, and uh, uh, what are the... What a mess that uh, creature is. You know, it's that they love to talk about the end times, and they love to talk about uh, what's going to happen in the end days, but they don't at all tell you how to escape those days. You know, praise God that Jesus is coming back, and he's coming back for a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, with free from sin. I know, praise God, glory, praise God, that's walking in perfection and righteousness and holiness and sanctification of the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, the Word of God. He's not coming back for the Pope's crowd, the idolaters. No, he's not coming back for Antichrist people. He's not coming back for... Uh, uh, ungodly people. He's not coming back for sinners. And then First Peter uh, uh, 4.18 says, If the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Praise God. But uh, I'm here to tell you to start reading your Bible, the, God, the Gospel of Christ, praise God, in a good dictionary, the King James Bible, because those other Bibles are perverted, missing 3,000 words, uh, Antichrist Gospel, and that's it. And Christians today are a bunch of Antichrist people who believe that God loves them and uh, so forth and so on. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to work. You know, Jesus said, the work, I must work the works of him that sent me. Right? Praise Praise God, Hallelujah! First God says, "What will she stop me up about my uh, father's business? You know, don't you want to go about my father's business? I must work the works of Him that sent me." He says, uh, "Praise God, Luke, and praise God, and uh, you know, praise God, uh, will she not? I'm uh, going about my father's business. Don't you know I'm doing my father's business? So uh, how could Jesus be God if He's doing His father's business? Is God doing a, a work for another God or something like that? It's an absolute abomination. Uh, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. The Bible says, and man, don't believe that. They believe that Jesus is God. Well." The Bible says is that uh, you uh, don't believe the record that God gave of his son and that you are a liar and an antichrist. Because the Bible says that whosoever shall confess that Jesus Christ is the son of God, God dwells in him. In John 5, Jesus said this is, this is that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which sent him. And uh, John, uh, 1 John chapter uh, 4 says this is that... Uh, Oh, praise the Lord, praise God, that uh, who search confess that uh, Jesus Christ, you know, the Son of God has come in the flesh, is a God. Who's, who search confess uh, that the Son of God is not come in the flesh, is not a God, and this is an Antichrist, uh, which is uh, to come, praise God, is a deceiver and Antichrist, which is the uh, spirit of Antichrist, which is to come. So praise God, glory, praise God. You know, Jesus said, the words which I speak are not mine, but the Father's which sent me. And John uh, 14, uh, 20, uh, 3, 24, 25, praise God. So, you know, praise God, so how could Jesus be God? He said, the words I speak are not mine. You know, says, glory, praise God. So it, it's, it's just uh, uh, something that how uh, man's just uh, going about, uh, you know, perverting the gospel. And uh, that's it. You know, that's it, praise God. Uh, churches today have no uh, light in them at all. They've uh, taken out the King James Bible. They put in their perverted NIVs, perverted New American Standard, which there are no standards because they're missing 3,000 words plus, and Scripture's twisted, and, and the Christians love that. You know, Jeremiah chapter 5 says, it says, my, the prophets of the prophesy falsely, and... Uh, they bear, they bear uh, rule over the people, and my people love to have it so. I mean, that's, that's the TV preachers, you know, that's that they bear rule over you. You know, praise God, you buy their merchandise, buy their junk, and, uh, and they'll uh, uh, bear rule over you. You know, that's it. they got to be in our church, and so forth and so on, our Jezebel church, and uh, so forth and so on. And uh, this is it's just absolute nonsense. The has come out from among them. You know, that's it in Ezekiel. Uh, so I was preaching about a month ago. It says, this is that uh, with force or cruelty, have you ruled them? And this is what we have, force or cruelty preachers. You mean, ruling over people, that they uh, make them unbelievers. Twofold more the child of hell. I mean, that's it, praise God. The synagogue of Satan, which claim they are Jews and they're not. You know, praise God, they say they can't stop sinning. Well, the Bible says God don't hear no sinners. So then you can't stop sinning just because God hasn't hurt you yet. You know, praise God, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You know, praise God, much more now being justified by his grace. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. They haven't been justified yet, praise God. But, you know, that's it. Uh, every... Uh, um, Christian in every uh, Bible uh, will say, well, we're still sinners. Well, it says, uh, you know, I'm no longer a sinner. If we, you know, if I'm a, a sinner, then, then Christ didn't die for me, and I'm not going to heaven. Nobody's going to heaven then if we're st still sinners. Because whosoever committed the sin is of the devil, First John 3, 8. Praise God, glory, praise God. But amen, praise God, glory, praise God. Uh, we uh, are uh, not of them that... Uh, uh, that turn to uh, way to perdition, to sin. No, praise God, we're once going to everlasting life. Because uh, Romans 6.18 says, Being made free from sin, ye become the servants of righteousness. Praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Jesus preached, Go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon thee. You know, as uh, uh, the saying is having my breakfast, my breakfast this morning at the Tim Hortons. And uh, 
uh, at the Tim Hortons there, uh, the, the, she uh, watches what we call the Vision TV here, or I call the Serpent Channel, because a bunch of serpent preachers, uh, a lion preachers has been to Bible school and got bewitched with their philosophy and theologies and vain deceit and so forth and so on. And uh, that's it. They, they have not at all. No fear of God in them. You know, it's that, uh, the Bible says in uh, Colossians uh, uh, 2, verse 8, that these are uh, rudiments of the world and not after Christ. You no, know, praise God. These theologies and philosophies and, uh, you know, it's that they got their belly full, full of picnics, full of food, beer belly, pot belly, uh, kitchen belly, whatever. I mean, that's it. Well, the first thing that goes out of my church is the kitchen and Sunday school and sports and all the things of the world and Bible uh, camps and uh, Bible schools. And all those things, because we're here to be in one spirit, one mind, one accord. Not in different spirits, not in different minds, different accords. Amen. That's it. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. We're going to cast out uh, all those things that are hindering people. You know, that's it. The selling of books that Jesus did in the synagogue. He said, make not my house a house of merchandise. And then the picnics, the, 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 the uh, all the stuff like that. Because Paul says, this is that if any man hunger, let him eat at home. Well, where do you... What are we going to hear? You know, so what are we going to go to your church for? You're going to hear the word of God. Glory to praise God. Jesus said that, uh, that except my Father draws you unto me, ye cannot be saved. And how's he going to draw you? By the words. He meant he, he's going to take you as his ransom. Amen. Praise God. By the words. He's going to use words. You know, Moses, you know, uh, saw a bush that was burning, and uh, God took him as ransom. You know, praise God. He, uh, you know, said to you know, he, had, he got Moses' attention, and then, praise God, he had the bush that's burning. And Moses, being an Egyptian, was uh, probably, uh, uh, you know, one of the best uh, in science, this or uh, whatever. He's uh, looking at this bush, and hey, wait a second, this thing is not uh, consuming on fire. It's not uh, burning uh, uh, down like uh, trees or whatever in the area. It's uh, on fire, but it's not uh, being consumed. How does this work now? Uh, my scientific uh, theory in Egypt says is that uh, anything that catches on fire gets consumed. They turn to ashes, they turn to dust. It turns to black uh, coal, so forth and so on. Um, you know, first God, glory, first God. Uh, uh, you know, it's like a forest fire. You know, that's it. Uh, it tells you in Ezekiel that uh, prophesy unto the self, prophesy unto the forest that uh, he's going to devour you, he's going to uh, destroy you, he's going to burn you down uh, with fire. Because why? Because men have not at all taken heed to the gospel of Christ. Oh, they'll take heed to Muhammad. And then Jesus said, if another comes uh, in his own name, him he receive. They receive Muhammad, all right. You know, they, 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 they receive them false prophets. They receive Billy Graham and Jimmy Baker and all the other funny preachers. But they don't at all receive the gospel of Christ to be called sons of God. I mean, they, so they, they love to be called Protestants, Presbyterians, uh, Pentecostals, uh, Catholics, Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, whatever. But uh, when you read uh, that in uh, John's uh, first jo uh, uh, John chapter one, and then first got uh, uh, verse uh, that uh, uh, verse twelve. But as many as received him, to him gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So, amen, praise God. So, you got to lose those titles. No, praise God, because uh, those are just titles of mankind. You know, praise God, that's it. Those are uh, just being born of the flesh, born of the will of man, and not of the will of God. Praise God. God's will is that you be holy from the foundation of the world, and that you be free from sin, that to repent you and start believing the gospel. Praise God, glory, praise God, because he's commanded man everywhere uh, to repent. Amen, praise God, Acts chapter 17, at times for ignorance, God winked up, but now it's God commanded man everywhere to repent. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. If man don't want to repent, you know, it tells you that revelations that uh, uh, never repent today of their fornications, nor their fests, nor their idolatries, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, that's it. In Revelations 21, and that's it, you know, that's it. So, uh, so the day is coming when uh, when all men are going to be judged and stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and that uh, you got to be standing for the judgment seat of Christ, and you got to be holy, standing in the holy spot. Let me tell you, if you're not, uh, if the judgment is against you, you know that's it. Uh, uh, the second death, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. He will not at all quit the wicked, unlike uh, we have in the carnal sense and the and on the earth where you have uh, uh, everyone uh, being acquitted because of a, of a legal. Uh, of a legal uh, issue or uh, so forth and so on. Well, forget, praise God. There's no legal issues, praise God, with the Bible. You no, know, praise God. Uh, he's not at all going to quit the wicked. He's not going to say you're, you're off by a technicality because there's a comma out of place or a period out of place. No, he will not uh, at all quit the wicked. You know, praise God, glory, praise God that, uh, you know, praise God that the Bible says this is that uh, all have heard the line went throughout all the world and we're here to preach the gospel of Christ, praise God, in season, out of season. We're here to do what uh, the Bible says in the ending of St. Matthew, to go and to preach every other creature under uh, uh, on earth, you know, praise God, uh, you know, praise God, under the heaven, uh, uh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, praise God, glory, praise God. But a lot of Christians, they mistake that, and uh, they don't see the end, and they'll think it's just one thing. They, they have uh, one God that becomes three gods. Well, thou shalt not have any gods before me. We got one God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, First Corinthians chapter 8, 
and one Lord, one Son. You no know, praise God, glory, praise God. But Christians don't understand that. If I was to take a picture beside me and my, my dad, well, praise God, glory, praise God, people would understand that. Now, if I was to take a picture and let's have Jesus beside his Father, well, people would never understand that because they think that Jesus is his Father. Forget it. There's no way that Jesus said is that the words that I speak, you know, praise God, are not mine, but the word, the Father's which sent me. So how could Jesus be God? You know, then people always try to find a scripture to cancel what Jesus says. You know, well, you know, Jesus is contradicting himself. This is what they're trying to prove, and they think that Jesus is coming back. Well, Jesus don't contradict himself. The Bible don't cancel the Bible. You know, the Christians are trying to cancel the Bible because they don't want to hear what uh, they're hearing. They're trying to find a new version, a new perverted version. They're trying to find another way. And Jesus said, this is that they're nothing but thieves and robbers. They're trying to find another way for a sheepfold in John chapter 10. You know, ch churches with their philosophy, so forth and so on. Uh, Serpent Channel TV uh, with their uh, Dr. So-and-so and this so-and-so, so forth and so on. And having a good laugh and mocking the Word of God and telling the jokes and, and a little sing-song service. And uh, we'll uh, have a uh, uh, a dog and pony show after and so forth and so on and uh, we'll have uh, a little bowling whatever Christian bowling team a Christian soccer team a Christian whatever well forget all that junk you know praise God the Bible says love not the world neither the things of the world if a man love the world the love of the Father is not in him amen and Samuel and then uh, uh, the uh, uh, wife of uh, one of the um, of uh, Eli the the um, the, um, uh, the prophet the uh, the man of God the man of God she, mean, has, uh, she named her son Ichabod, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, and that means the glory of the Lord has departed, praise God, because, uh, you know, that's it, praise God, and this is what's happened to the church a long time ago, that the glory of the Lord has departed. James uh, chapter uh, 2 says uh, that the body of the Spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. The body of Christ without the Spirit of Christ, without the Spirit of God is dead, just as much as the human body without the Spirit is dead as well. You know, praise God, without your soul, praise God, glory, praise God, but uh, amen, praise God, that uh, you know, all souls are mine, uh, Ezekiel 18.4. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. And the wages of sin is death, Romans 6, 23. You know, they say, God, don't change. Man's trying to change the word. You know, praise God to, to uh, you know, they want God to do all the works for him and work for him like their butler. Uh, you know, praise God, but he's not going to do anything. You know, Bible says, keep yourself in the love of God. Strive to enter in. You want to be at the racetrack at 6 o'clock in the morning to be the best Olympic runner or to try for the Olympics. you got to be out there at 6 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, running until 10 o'clock at night, and then going back uh, to bed at uh, 11 o'clock and then uh, up again at uh, uh, at uh, Four o'clock, five o'clock, and uh, eating a healthy breakfast, and then at the track at six, and so forth and so on, and uh, to uh, be the best uh, Olympic runner, Olympic athlete, lifting weights, and so forth and so on. You know, that's in the carnal sense. Uh, as Paul says, it's that uh, they're running a race, uh, they're, they're running for the carnal sense, for for a prize, but it's just uh, a corruptible prize, but not the spiritual one. Praise God, praise God. But what we're running after, praise God, is the high calling in Christ Jesus. Praise God, hallelujah. It says in Philippians, glory to praise God, hallelujah. That's it. So. It's a glory to praise God. So we got to uh, go for the high calling uh, of uh, Christ Jesus, praise God. That's it, uh, doing what the Bible says, praise God. How the prize Christ Jesus, praise God. So we're not doing what the Bible says. You know, said, praise God, we'll be like the Pope in Rome and just worshiping his uh, dead Mary statue that has eyes to see, cannot see, ears to hear, cannot hear. You know, praise God, glory to praise God. I mean, uh, 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 19 years ago, the Word of God took out cerebral palsy on me. Uh, John 15, 3 says, Now you are clean for the word which I have spoken unto you. Mark chapter 2, uh, Jesus uh, preached to the uh, gentleman. He said, this is that Sunday, sins be forgiven. And then the man with the palsy. Well, glory to Jesus, praise God. Uh, when I used to have cerebral palsy, I was looking at that. And boy, oh boy, I could do all things in Christ. Who strengthens me, Paul says in Colossians. And I look at that, Mark chapter 2, for my example. And boy, if Jesus could heal this guy, I could be healed as well. Glory to Jesus, praise God. And I was taught in the Bible that your sins must be forgiven and forgotten. And to repent ye and start believing the gospel. And to give up your dead works of faith and dead works of doctrines of devils and seducing and spirits. And the Antichrist gospel and uh, stop believing in me and start doing what the Bible says, praise God, because uh, believing uh, is not going to uh, entertain or uh, get you anywhere closer to heaven than uh, just uh, uh, just uh, pushing your, bear, your chair back, you know, praise God, and, and uh, that's it, praise God, but, uh, you know, praise God, what's going to get you to heaven is being doers of the word, praise God, for not to hear just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified in Romans 2.13, praise God, glory, praise God, this is what we have the problem with. Not enough doers, just hearers. No, praise God, glory, praise God. They're not even hearing the right thing. They'll sit as my people, they'll come as my people, but they'll not do what thou sayest. Ezekiel says, praise God, uh, 36, I believe, praise God. So, amen, praise God, but uh, amen, praise God. And this is the problem we have today. Amen, praise God. Uh, people uh, who uh, don't want to come out from among them, praise God. Uh, I was listening to this lady there, she was the, the, the Tim Hortons. She was saying uh, that uh, about her uh, filthy uh, preacher so and so, and she reads all these books and so forth, and, and more books and more books. Instead of the Bible, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. You know, this, it, uh, these preachers are spending money, millions and thousands of dollars, just trying to try to understand John 1, why it says that the Word 
was God. It was a metaphor. I mean, because all things were made by him. Because it's a metaphor. It doesn't say the word was God the Father or God uh, uh, or God Almighty or, or uh, God the Son or anything like that. No, it, it's just a metaphor. You know, to say that uh, Jesus can make things. The word was God. I mean, it, it has a... Uh, it can make things, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. So John uses a metaphor uh, to say that uh, it was God, just like the uh, metaphor of Shakespeare says, all the world's a stage. You know, praise God, uh, you know, they, you know, uh, you know all the, and the world's all actors, and some have their exits and interests. Uh, you know, praise God, we're not uh, saying that the whole world's a stage, no, but uh, uh, it's a metaphor, and, and this is what Christianity are so stuck on, a metaphor, praise God, because they're blind, because they're led by blind leaders of the blind. Amen, that's it, praise God. Both shall fall in the ditch, and the ditch is dug, dug downward, because Luke 16 says that the rich man looked up in the heaven, and the uh, poor man Abraham was uh, looking down, and men, praise God, and you can see the rich man in hell, you know, praise God, so praise God. So this is what uh, we have, uh, we see out there, is this, that the people uh, who are uh, led by blind leaders of the blind, and they're both in the same uh, ditch, you know, praise God, glorious, praise God. And said they got strong delusions to believe a lie. The God of this world have blind, have blind their mind. That's the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them, praise God. Not God, image, you know, praise God. You take a coin, you got an image, praise God. And what's that image of? Abraham Lincoln or Queen Elizabeth? Amen, praise God, that's an image. You don't have Queen Elizabeth live on your coin. You don't have Abraham Lincoln in person on your coin. No, you got his image, uh, uh, a... Uh, uh, a representation, if you please, praise God, glory, praise God. So this is what we have uh, today, praise God, uh, uh, Jesus uh, being the Son of God. He's an uh, image of God, praise God, is a representation because we're translated into the kingdom of his dear Son, praise God, Jesus. I mean, praise God, that Christ being the Son of his own household, says in Hebrews. So when people say Jesus is God, you got to tell them, uh-uh, that's false, uh-uh. Well, they're going to go into John chapter 1 right away because the word was God. Well, that's right. Just tell them that's right because it can make things because verse 3 is the answer. Then you can go back to verse 2 and say the same was in the beginning with God. Praise God. All things were made by word because he's saying God because he can make things. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. is equal with God. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. So we have a father being a, an engineer. Praise God. He... Uh, uh, created things, praise God, and then uh, uh, the New Testament says that uh, he, uh, that Jesus Christ makes things, praise God. So, Father creates it, lays down the blueprints, and the Son being the worker, because he's, uh, he lays down the, the foundation, and he lays the uh, uh, cornerstone, he's the chief cornerstone, and who lays that down is a builder, so praise God. So, Jesus has always been the, the uh, builder, and God the Father has always been uh, uh, the uh, creator, being the architect, praise God, glory, praise God, and that's the glory, praise God, and uh, uh, this is what the problem with uh, Christianity is, is that they think it's all the same, it's all, uh, you know, the same God, it's all God doing everything. Well, no, 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 he sent his only son, the that Hebrews 1, spoken unto us through his son in the latter days. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, this is uh, what we have, this is that he's uh, spoken unto us through his son. You know, praise God, he didn't speak unto us through himself. You know, praise God, this is, uh, this is the problem we have Christianity, to get those scriptures mixed up, thou shalt not have any, any God before me. We're not talking about another God, we're talking about the son beside the father. You know, what Stephen saw was the son of God beside the glory of his father. And then the son on the right hand power of God, standing on the right hand power of God. So I don't know how difficult it could be, but they, they make things so complicated when they have a strong delusion to believe a lie. So praise God, this is the problem we have out there with Christianity. They don't want to read the Bible. They don't care to read the Bible, except maybe on Sunday and for five minutes. I was on the uh, Facebook today, and it says, uh, five minute uh, Bible read. Oh, was I upset at that? I said, this is no five minute book. You know, Bible no five minute book. You know, praise God, blesses the man that meditate from the word of God day and night, for his seed shall be blessed. It's no five-minute book. You know, praise God, if this is a, a, a five-minute book, then the Bible will tell you, you know, that's it. Uh, read this for five minutes, and uh, and that's it. So that leaves me uh, 23.55 uh, 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 hours, you know, praise God, 23 minutes and 55 minutes to... Uh, to uh, I go mess up with the world and be like the devil. The Bible says, the Bible says blesses man to meditate from the word of God day and night, for his seed shall be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, Joshua 1 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt do it as written therein, and thou shalt have good success. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. And I've had good success. It's extremely palsy on me. Praise God. It give me a new spirit, a new uh, uh, heart of flesh I'll give you. Praise God. Ezekiel. And it gave me the Holy Ghost. Praise God. The Holy Spirit. You know, praise God. I took out the, uh, my sinful spirit. You know, the, 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 the devil that uh, was uh, uh, putting me in sin. You know, praise God. It said, the Bible says in Romans chapter 7, it says that uh, when we were in the flesh, the motions of sin which were by the law did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. You know, praise God. So, you know, praise God. A lot of Christians saying, God loves you. God loves you. Well, uh, well without Jesus Christ, uh, there is no love of God, period. 
So praise God, that's just fruit unto death. You know, praise God, we need the Son of God, praise God, because he said, if a man love me, keep my words, keep my commandments. In John 14, no, praise God, he didn't say, uh, I'm going to love everybody. That's why Christians uh, don't understand John 3.16, for God so loved, uh, L-O-V-E-D, the world that he gave, G-A-V-E, his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but everlasting life. And that's the problem with, with these Christians of the hour, is just that they don't have everlasting life, and yet they're trying to use John 3.16 instead, instead of uh, understanding what John 3.16 is trying to tell them uh, about. Why don't they look at John 3.18, that, uh, you know, praise God, that uh, uh, whosoever believes in the Son of God have everlasting life, and he that believes not, you know, uh, shall not see God, but the wrath of God abideth in him. John 3.36 and uh, John 3.18 also says uh, that... Uh, uh, that uh, the uh, wrath of God is going to abide on him because uh, that uh, he that is believed on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. No, praise God, glory to praise God. So there you go, glory to praise God. So this is uh, uh, what uh, it, uh, uh, it is, no, praise God, that people uh, are under God's wrath or under condemnation right on the spot. You know, there's got the, how many people I talk to, they, they think that Jesus is God. Well, forget, you're an antichrist and you're a pervert, and that's it. You're no better than Muhammad, an antichrist and a pervert walking around with his perverted gospel. You know, uh, Muhammad, uh, you know, that he uh, says this is that uh, he ascended up into heaven and uh, uh, this and that, so forth and so on. He doesn't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He, Son of God, he calls him a prophet. Well, Muhammad is one of the worst prophets that ever walked on the face of the earth. You know, he's got, uh, he's an antichrist, he's a liar, uh, he's a wife beater, uh, he's a uh, you name it, a terrorist, and Ishmael seed, which is where he claims he's from, are nothing but terrorists. You no, know, praise God, I'm from Isaac. The, uh, the covenants and the provinces were given unto Isaac, and then, praise God, and Jesus came, became another Isaac, and praise God, then became uh, the spiritual Adam for us. You no, know, praise God, one who obeyed God, not one who disobeyed him and took uh, the tree that uh, he was not supposed to, and listened to his wife's. Uh, uh, interpretation of things because she heard another serpent another preacher preach she heard the Pope preach she heard whatever down the street uh, Billy Graham or whatever uh, preach no nope. you know praise God glory to praise God uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's that Jesus now became another uh, spiritual album that we could be free from sin per, walk in perfection and then be therefore perfect as your father which is in heaven is perfect so if uh, if Jesus is saying uh, as your father which is in heaven is perfect who's uh, on the face of the earth then you know, who's watching heaven? It absolutely makes no sense because the voice in the cloud in Mark chapter 9 says, This is my beloved son, hear ye him. It doesn't say, This is, my, this is me, hear ye me. You know, this is, Jesus was no ventriloquist. This is a, a God the Father talking about the Son. Glory to praise God. But it's so hard to, to uh, get these uh, uh, Christians in the Bible to, to, to uh, make them understand what the Bible says. I can get them in Billy Graham's book. I can give them in uh, so many books of these preachers, but to give them into the Bible, to read the Bible, to strive to enter in, to through the straight gate, that is the hardest thing to do. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. I mean, that's it. As Jesus said, this is that it's easier for a uh, camel to go for an eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And it's easier for uh, a camel to go for that uh, eye of a needle than it is for a Christian to get into his Bible because they don't want to work the works. They don't want to get in the Bible. They're not interested in the Bible. They want to read books about the Bible, but not interested in the Bible. And if they do read the Bible, they have to have a, a book uh, written by some serpent so and so, Doctor so and so, and so forth and so on. Well, I got mine written by Doctor Jesus, praise God, Hallelujah, praise God, and that written by the finger of God, glory praise God, by His Father, and that He spoke unto us through His Son. Amen, glory praise God. Amen. Every word uh, that uh, proceeded out of the mouth of God, man shall live by, not by books and uh, so forth. Uh, the Ecclesiastes says, it says, uh, therefore, my son, uh, making them many uh, books, there is no end, and much studying is much weariness to the flesh. You know, praise God, glory praise God. Uh, you know, because I got uh, cousins who write books on uh, forest fires and so forth and so on, and they have to study and uh, so forth and so on, and I envy them. You know, praise God, I took forestry myself in the business and uh, uh, electricity and, uh, um, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, uh, and computer repair and uh, computers and security and so forth and so on, and, and investigation, private investigator, praise God, you name it, but uh, praise God, I, I envy these people, you know, said praise God, because these people are writing books and books and, uh, you know, they're making good money at it, praise God, glory, praise God, uh, they're making uh, fantastic money, uh, and I, I envy them, you know, praise God, but, uh, uh, but uh, with, uh, you know, as much uh, weariness to the flesh, you know, praise God, that's it, they have to study, and they have to research this, and they have to go over this, and go over that, and so forth, and so on, and, uh, and uh, you know, make sure it's right, and so forth, and so on, well, that's it, I know my King James Bible is right, I don't have to go over it, and, uh, and uh, correct the punctuation marks, and so forth, and so on, uh, because why? Because I know that it's been uh, translated at the original tongues, diligently compared and revised. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, that's it. That uh, I don't have to go back, uh, you know, and uh, and uh, correct this and correct that because the Bible says it's uh, for correction and 
righteousness. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, and Timothy. You know, praise God is for reproof and correction in righteousness. Praise God, glory, praise God, and, uh, and profitable for doctrine. Praise God. Amen, praise God. Uh, uh, the Bible says that uh, bodily exercise uh, profits as little, but uh, I make the argument on the other coin, on the other side of that coin, praise God, glory, praise God, and I don't, I'm not adding to the Word of God, I'm just, uh, um, just, uh, uh, just uh, you know, what uh, uh, these uh, people are, just uh, uh, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. But praise God, I make the other argument, is, is that, uh, well, uh, bodily exercise uh, profit uh, uh, better, uh, for uh, those uh, ungodly preachers, those ones that can't stay, stop sinning, oh, they they can't stop sinning. God loves you, and Jesus is God, and uh, and uh, so forth and so on. Uh, you know, is blind to is, is bad to the word of God. That uh, you know that uh, whosoever committed sin transgresses all the law. We you know which law, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, which set me free from the law of sin and death. Romans 6:18, being made free from sin, ye become the servants of righteousness. And then praise God for that. He died. He died unto sin once. Likewise, reckon ye yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God for Jesus Christ our Lord. In Romans 6, uh, 10, 11, praise God. In Romans 6:18, Amen. Glory to praise God. So, Amen. Glory to praise God. So this is. Uh, what we got to do is this is to keep in the Word of God, is to do what the Bible says, do what the Word of God says, praise God, go to praise God, and uh, that's it. I, I, I've i got cousins uh, who are uh, a Presbyterian minister down in uh, Missoula, Montana. Uh, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. He went through Bible school, and uh, it wasn't as perverted as it is today. Uh, he uh, learned all these uh, books and all this stuff uh, just as much as a medical doctor would. But amen, praise God. Uh, uh, I, I was fortunate. No, praise God, that's it. That, uh, you know, God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, had mercy on me that he didn't at all leave me in the books. He led me to a ministry at the time, which... Uh, uh, which uh, which believed in the Bible, just uh, only believed in reading the Bible. Praise God, glory to God, in, in, the, in the good dictionary. And I was quite fortunate, glory to God, I had that uh, before it was a falling away in the church, but I was quite fortunate that uh, we had a good teaching at the time, a strong teaching that uh, that, that planted that seed to, to uh, build my foundation on, praise God, glory to God, to preach the word. Uh, you know, praise God, that's it, glory to God. I'm not going to build my foundation on another man's uh, place. I'm not going to build on Billy Graham's foundation because that thing is just going to topple down and it's toppled down so many times because Billy Graham teaches that God loves everybody, preaching a lie in John 3.16 when it doesn't at all say that. You know, or she has to go back to school and learn some English because uh, God so loved the, the world. They, you mean, praise God, didn't say God loves the world. God so loved the world that he gave. G-A-V-E, not that he gave. Or, you know, praise God, it was given. It gave. It's past tense now. It says this be written after crucifixion, obviously. His only begotten son that whosoever, didn't say everybody, whosoever believe in him shall not perish by everlasting life. You know, Jesus said, whosoever have ears to hear, let them hear. Praise God. This is what the problem with Christianity is that they don't understand English. That's why that they don't understand between him and her, our and, uh, and uh, ours and, uh, and mine, and uh, praise God, glory, praise God, and, uh, and, uh, and him and her, our and uh, mine, praise God, uh, uh, me and our, praise God, so forth and so on, the proper verb and I and all that, praise God. And that's why that uh, they think that Jesus is God because they said, well, before Abraham was, I am. Well, gee, you have to go back to Genesis. Let us make man in our own image. It didn't say, uh, let me make man in my own image. Let us make man in our own image. Behold, the man has become like one of us. It didn't say to be, the man has become like me. It's so, so, I mean, like it's obviously uh, Christianity. They don't uh, have no interest in reading the Bible. You know, they'll just take man's words for it. And the Bible says is that they love to have a soul. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. Can the leper change his spots? Uh, Jeremiah chapter, uh, at least chapter 12, verse says, uh, can leper, leper change his spots? And Ethiopian change his skin? Then may ye that are accustomed to do evil do good. You know, praise God. But it's, it's, that's what's going to take the leper to change his spots or an Ethiopian to change his skin. You know, to go from a black guy to a white guy or a white guy to go to a black guy or whatever, vice versa. You know, that's it. Uh, what's going to take for you to get in the Bible? What's it going to take to, to depart from evil? The unjust know of no shame. What's it going to take to depart from evil? Depart from iniquity, praise God. So what's it going to take for you to depart? You know, praise God. Uh, uh, it, it, it's just an abomination. Uh, what's going on uh, in uh, the world up there, praise God, glory, praise God. So there you go, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. So there you go, glory, praise God. So it's just an abomination. So praise God, glory, praise God. Amen, praise God. So uh, amen, that's it, praise God. People are having kids, and they're not at all being uh, holy. They're not at all being uh, clean. No, praise God, that's it. The Bible says is that the mother has to be clean, and the father has to be clean, else your children are unclean. So if the, both parents are unclean, your children are unclean. Ask Solomon and Gomorrah. Ask why God flat the earth, because they had unclean people walking the earth, except for Noah, who was a perfect man and found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And the Bible says that every evil imagination in Genesis chapter 7 was found, under, found underneath the earth. And that's it. Nothing new. Homosexuality is nothing new. Nothing new uh, under the sun. Uh, Ecclesiastes said that he, uh, you know, trying to let in the homosexuals and the sodomites in the churches, and they've done that before. 
and God destroyed them in the bed of abomination, and he's going to burn the whole world. He's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. We're in dwell of righteousness. Praise God. Glory to God. So, amen. Praise God. Men today have to repent and give up their demon of homosexuality, their demon of drinking, the demon of cigarettes. You know, it's defiling their temple. If amen defile his temple, him shall God destroy. Amen. Smoke his temple. Him shall God destroy. Amen. Drink his temple. Him shall God destroy. Amen. Praise God. The murderers, uh, whoremongers, and uh, fornicators, and uh, idolaters, and uh, idolaters, and uh, name it. First Corinthians 6, the unrighteous. You know, praise God. The Christianity claimed it can't be an unrighteous. No, not one, because you're Jew and Gentile under sin. I'm no longer Jew or Gentile because I'm no longer under sin. So i got to be righteous. Hallelujah. Praise God. Romans 6, 18. Being made free from sin, you become servants of righteousness, servants of Christ. Uh, for when you were the servants of sin, you were free from Jesus. You're, you're free from Christ. But now being made free from sin, you become the servants of righteousness. Amen. Praise God. And your fruit unto everlasting life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Song of Solomon says, this is that, uh, he says this is that uh, uh, we're to bear fruit to, that you'll be purged, that uh, uh, you'll, you'll come and uh, purge it, that to uh, find fruit sweet to his taste so that, uh, you know, it's said, praise God, so you got to find fruits to purge, so he'll take it and say, mm, 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 that's uh, Andrew, that's uh, evangelist, uh, Andrew Kelly, praise God, glory, praise God, down there, he's got, got fruit sweet to my taste, amen, hallelujah, that's what Jesus said, uh, I am the true vine, and, and my father's a husband, man, every branch of me that bear fruit, he purges it, that may bring forth bear more fruit, and every branch that beareth not fruit, in John 15, uh, he, uh, you know, it's cut down and hewn into the fire. It's cast into the fire. Praise God, glory, praise God. So there you go, glory, praise God. That's it. So, glory, praise God. So this is, uh, this is it. So praise God, hallelujah, praise God. So this is, uh, this is it. This is what uh, it, it, it's all about. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So, amen, hallelujah, praise God. So this is what this is, it's, it's all about. Amen, hallelujah, glory, praise God. Oh, praise the Lord, glory, praise God, hallelujah, glory, praise God. I mean, just, I want to get into my sermon here today, praise God, hallelujah. It's, 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 uh, so much to talk about to people because the uh, people need to hear this. You know, praise God, I said, he'll take the foolish thing in this world to confound the wise. You know, praise God, he's not going to take the wise person in the Bible school. He turns both up by mind because they don't want to receive the love of the truth. They uh, turn over to uh, creeping things into, uh, uh, into a uh, corruptible man. That's why they're saying that God was uh, uh, made... Uh, Jesus God, what a changing uh, the glory of God into corruptible man. You know, praise God. The Bible says uh, God sent his own son in Romans 8, verse 3. God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, condemned sin in the flesh. Praise God, glory, praise God. So there you go, glory, praise God. So uh, we condemn sin in the flesh. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Praise God, I said that uh, Jesus condemned sin in the flesh. Praise God, not we, or I said the Son of God, you know, praise God, Jesus Christ, you know, walk in the likeness of sinful flesh. Praise God. So problem with Christianity is that to walk with this delusion that Jesus is God and it doesn't matter how many scriptures you give them, you don't want to believe it because they make God a liar because they don't believe the record that God gave of his son. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And his life is in his son. It's not in God. It's in his son. And it's what the, Jesus said is that the Father may be glorified in the son. But the problem with Christianity is, is that they're trying to glorify in God. It's not going to work. That's why we're having wars and so forth and so on. They're killing in the name of God. Every nation kills the name of God. They have, um, where I work at, at the college, <clears throat> They're asking people uh, to attend their seminar. Why are the wars? Everybody's killing in the name of God. Why are they killing in the name of God? Why? It's because uh, they have not at all acknowledged the Son of God, Jesus Christ. You don't hear people saying, I'm killing in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You don't hear that because the devil knows that name is uh, is uh, that name. It's got power to it, praise God. And the devil knows to stay away from that name because that name uh, is uh, is the one that will defeat him all the time. So that's it. That, uh, you know, it says so when Jesus came around and the, the demons started screaming and yelling, they said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of God. They knew who he was. And he didn't say, Thou art the Christ, uh, the uh, God, the Son, or whatever. No, they, or, or you're Jesus, or you're God in the flesh. No, you're the Son of God. The devils knew who Jesus was, and the Christians don't. And that's why the problem is that they don't read the Bible. And I said, I'm telling you to start reading your Bible, your King James Bible, your Gospel of Christ. Praise God, throw away those funny NIV Bibles that tell you I'm not ashamed of the Gospel. You, know, you get the one that says, or I'm not ashamed of the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Don't buy that new King James because there's uh, nothing new. It's just a new way of perverting the Gospel. And the man became a living soul, not a living being like uh, those uh, perverted uh, Bibles say. You know, praise God, said uh, so. You know, that's it, praise God. It's not the uh, Passover. It's Eastern, uh, Acts chapter 12, uh, verse uh, uh, verse uh, 3 and 4, praise God, glory, praise God. So I know a lot of people try to say, well, the Greek says this, the Greek says that, so forth and so on. Well, I'm no longer Jew and Gentile looking for 
uh, wonders, the Greek seek signs, the Jews seek wonders. You know, praise God, but we preach Christ, which is unto them foolishness, praise God. So a lot of people are looking for a book on, on Greek and, and understand the Greek in the New Testament. Well, well, forget it. No longer Greek and Gentile understand, praise God. Why do I have to look for the Greek for? It's all translated out of the original tongues. Why do I have to look for the Greek? His name is Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen, praise God. It's not Jimmy the Greek or uh, whatever the Greek down the street. No, praise God. His name is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Glory praise God. Amen, praise God. The Greek and Hebrew, well, his name is Jesus, praise God. So if you don't like it, no, praise God, then uh, go serve the devil with your Greek and Hebrew because, uh, amen, praise God, I'm not interested in it. God the Father is not interested in it because uh, he's uh, ordained his word, praise God, and ordained man to write the word, what he has to say. And what he says, he'll translate it into your own language, whether it be the Martin Luther in German, the Louis Segal in French, or the King James in English. I mean, the close volume, and praise God, God will translate it into proper language and your proper tongue for you to speak and understand. He's not going to prop, uh, translate and mistranslate and contradict himself and so forth and so on, like most Christians think, and yet they expect that Jesus is coming back for him when they're calling God his father a liar and they're calling Jesus a liar and uh, they don't believe his word and they start uh, blaspheming his word and whatnot and uh, they don't at all read the Bible and uh, you know they'll just stop at one scripture first John 1 8 or uh, or you know that uh, uh, Jesus said this is that uh, I am my father are one well, why don't you start reading English I and it doesn't say I am one I and my father one uh, John 10 or you know it says this is that uh, uh, he has seen me, has seen the Father. Well, that's right, because the works that I'm doing, they show the Father which dwelleth in me. He didn't say, uh, he uh, he uh, sees me, I'm God the Father. No, you know, it, 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 don't, don't, say, don't say that. But Christianity has it so backwards. Uh, I mean, it's, it's all the opposite to what they're taught. You can't be free from sin. You can't be this, can't be that. Can't, 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 can't. Well, my Bible says can, can, can. Amen, praise God. Let's do the can, can. Let's not do the can, can, can't. Let's do the can, can. Amen, praise God. Yes, uh, we can be holy. Yes, we can be perfect. Yes, we can be righteous. Yes, we can be this. We can do whatever the Bible says we do. You know, praise God, it's a can-do gospel, not a can't-do. Amen, praise God, a can-do. Praise God, praise God. Glory amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen. Praise God. So Jesus said it. He wasn't talking to animals. He said, be therefore perfect. Well, that's it. We can. Amen, praise God. Paul says, finally, brethren, be perfect. We can. You know, Paul wasn't talking to the birds. Paul wasn't talking to canaries. No, he was talking to... To, to human beings, praise God. This is what the Bible's written for, for human beings. Amen. Praise God, glory, praise God. Amen. Praise God, glory, praise God. John 8, 51. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Praise God, glory, praise God. Keep my sayings. What's the problem with Christianity today? They're not keeping the sayings, are they? No, praise God. They're, they can't stop sinning. Well, what's that? The wages of sin is death. Romans six twenty three. Amen. The wages of his death. Amen. Praise God. This is no Shakespeare line. This is no line from some uh, 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 carnal book. No, this is a, a line from the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ. Praise God. This is not uh, 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 a lie from uh, the carnal. Amen. Praise God. You, uh, the problem with Christianity is, is that they're going to, to uh, the carnal to find the spiritual, and they're going to the uh, spiritual to find the carnal. Well, they're going to the drugstore to buy a dog, and then they're going to the, uh, the uh, pet store to get their medication. Uh, you, you, you can't do that. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. You want to buy a dog, you go to the pet store. You go to the dog pound. You want to buy your medication, you go to the drug store. Amen, glory, praise God. But Christianity's got so backwards that they're going to the wrong place. And they're, and they're going to the wrong place. They're going to the lake which burns for fire brimstone. Amen, praise God. The, the Paul says in uh, Galatians chapter 2, If I build the things which I destroyed, I would be called a transgressor. Amen, praise God. It's Christ. Therefore, in uh, Galatians 2.17, the minister of sin, God forbid. Amen. Hallelujah. God forbid. Christ is not the leader of sin. You know, praise God. Uh, you know, uh, these Christians, you know, they said to say the sinner's prayer and, and everything will be all right. Like Hollywood, everything's all right. Well, forget it. You know, praise God. There's no sinner's prayer because we know that God here, if not sinner, St. John 9, 31. You know, praise God. Praise God. Uh, you want to say a prayer, say that John 17, that would maybe be perfect in one that Jesus prayed. That pray for not for them uh, only, but for them as well. If you want to say the Lord's Prayer, it's John 17. Uh, not what they call in uh, Matthew chapter uh, 8, uh, chapter 7, uh, there, uh, that, uh, that the Lord's Prayer. No. That's just an example prayer, you know, praise God. But uh, Jesus, pray for me in John 8. If you want to do a repeat, if you want to repeat something, uh, you know, praise God, uh, do the John uh, uh, 17, the, the Lord's prayers in John 17. You know, praise God, Jesus told the Pharisees in, in, in his days, hey, you people repeat, 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 repeat. And that's all I was when I was a Presbyterian and a Pentecostal, was repeat, repeat, repeat. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. And, and then they say that every Sunday, a bunch of hypocrites you don't believe in nothing. First of all, you know, the, the Roman Catholic, the Holy Catholic Church is not holy. It could be no uh, 
no more holy than Swiss cheese. You know, praise God, that's it. Praise God, says, the Swiss cheese has a lot of holes, and the Catholic Church definitely has holes. You know, praise God, praise God. But this gospel of Christ, the gospel of the King James Bible, has no holes in it. Glory to you, praise God. Amen. It said it will lead you to repentance. The goodness of God leads thee to repentance. You know, praise God, glory to you, praise God. But uh, these uh, Christians, they shouldn't be called Christians. They should be called devilins. You know, praise God, because uh, he that commits is of the devil. Praise God, glory to you, praise God. They, they should be walking around, I'm a devilin. And because they're going full force in their sin, uh, Jesus said, How be it they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, teaching in vain the doctrines and commandments of men in Mark 7 and Matthew 15. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, they should be called devilins instead of Christians. Praise God, because if they were called Christians, it means Christ will fin and the devil will fail. So goodbye, yeah, devil, that's it, glory, praise God, because I crucified the old man of sin. That's why Paul says in Romans chapter 7, he uh, used the law of divorce and marriage, and then he says, this, 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 that, Therefore, my brethren, you become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married unto another. And then he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Ye cannot be partakers of the cup of the Lord nor table of devils. And Jesus himself says, Ye cannot serve two masters. Praise God. Uh, we read that in uh, uh, the Kings where they try to fear God and serve the idols of the nation. Well, you can't do that. You can't be partaker of the cup of the Lord nor the table of the devils. You've got to be one or the other. You've got to be dead unto one and alive unto the other. You can't serve two masters, Mary and Jesus at the same time. Or her name is uh, Diana of Ephesus, uh, the one that uh, Paul talks about in the, uh, Acts 15. Uh, Diana of Ephesus. That's her name. And it isn't, uh, uh, you know, uh, it isn't at all. Um, uh, Praise God, Acts 15, 16, 17 there, uh, Diana of Ephesus, it is not Mary, her name is Diana of Ephesus, but the Pope changed to Mary, him being an antichrist and a pervert and uh, whatever, and he's now saying this, that, oh, we come from uh, evolution, we come from the monkey. Well, really? It's, how come Paul says is that all flesh is not the same? I mean, there's uh, one for uh, mankind, for humans, and one for uh, uh, animals, and another for uh, the stars, uh, one for terrestrial and celestial, etc., 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 in First Corinthians 15. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. I'm more closer to the DNA of uh, the dust of the ground because God made man of the dust and uh, breathed the words of life in because we need iron, zinc, copper. What does the ground need? Uh, your soil need iron, zinc, copper. And then how I'm, I'm more, my DNA is more closer to dirt than it is to uh, uh, the monkeys because monkeys have, uh, wherever they're saying that uh, dogs have like uh, one or two DNA chromosomes, whatever, off uh, kilter compared to humans. Well, that's it, glory to God, because there's all flesh is not the same flesh. Praise God, glory to God. But uh, when, you're, uh, uh, when you're a sinner, you know, all flesh is the same flesh because you're willing to do your abomination uh, in the sight of the Lord. Praise God, instead of doing what the Bible says, you're willing to show your abomination to show how filthy you are instead of uh, uh, cleaning up. You know, praise God, that's why that, uh, uh, that's it, that uh, people have no shame anymore, that the, this younger generation, no shame. They don't read anything. If it's not a two-minute gospel, it's not done in two seconds. They're not interested. They want to push a button. Uh, that's what the thinking is. They don't want to get in the book anymore. They don't want to start reading. Uh, you know, it's got the preachers today. They got uh, five-minute gospels or five-minute reading plans, and uh, they don't want to read the Bible anymore. They don't want to even uh, get in the gospel and start uh, like they did in the old days to uh, look for a uh, sermon. You mean, praise God, like I do. You mean, praise God, that's it. Praise God, God shall, you know, sometimes I'll open the Bible and I'll stop. Hey, God says, go preach that one, my son. Andrew, my son, go preach that one. Glory to praise God. And said that, uh, go preach that. Go tell, go tell the world this message. You know, praise God. And, uh, and sometimes I'm in the, the preaching, and the Holy Ghost will tell me, uh, you know, uh, at the same time I'm talking, that, uh, you know, what to say next. You know, praise God. And then uh, sometimes, you know, praise God will just click to me. And then other times I would just, uh, the Holy Ghost just say, okay, well, say this instead. You know, praise God. Glory to praise God. So, you know, praise God. As Jesus said, uh, I come not to do my own will, but, the, but him that uh, sent me. Praise God. Glory to praise God. And I'm not here to do uh, my own will. Praise God. Sit, praise God. Praise God. Uh, my own will. Well, you know, praise God, uh, would uh, be uh, going out and doing messing up with the world. But praise God, how Jesus pulled me out of that and says, uh-uh, no, you're the foolish thing I want. The person with cerebral palsy. Go confound them by Bible school uh, uh, preachers. And how many times have I done that? Go down the street. You know, praise God, how many times have I done that? Go preach on the Internet. How many times have I done that? You know, I'm on Facebook. I'm on all sorts of media. And people don't like me because I use the gospel. They tell me to shut up and, and so forth and so on. And some of them are, uh, or most of them are Christians, and they don't like them. They don't love Jesus. You know, praise God, they don't, they, 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 they love Jesus as much as Muhammad could love Jesus. They don't love him. Uh, they, they, they can't stop saying they love the devil. But I mean, they let the devil to uh, rock them and so forth, and they'll believe it's the voice of Jesus. Jesus said, my, my sheep hear my voice. They that are in the graves are going to hear the voice of the Son of God. They're not going to hear God's voice. They're not going to hear the devil's voice. They're going to hear the voice of the Son of God. So that's it, praise God. So if you're going to be there in the first resurrection, blessed and holy, you better know his voice. You know, praise God. Said, praise God. If you don't know his voice, you know, praise God, uh, after being in church for 25, 30, 40, 50 years, like a lot of these uh, people, I feel sorry to see a lot of senior citizens walk out and shaking the hands of a preacher 
here, and that was a good sermon, preacher. Yeah, well, he didn't tell you to read your Bible. He didn't tell you to, to how to escape. You know, praise God. That's if the, you know, he just had a little, God loves you, and uh, I'll give you an example and so forth for a little story about Daniel and the lion's den, and the Bible says it would be called fables. You know, praise God. Yes, we need to preach about Daniel and the lion's den. Yes, he was thrown in the lion's den. You know, praise God. Glory praise God, because, uh, you know, it's it, uh, that uh, the king fearing man, praise God, that's, uh, uh, yes, we need to pre we need to talk about that, praise God, but we don't uh, have to make this into a fable book because uh, there's, uh, that's what man want to do. That's ancient years, praise God. Uh, you know, it's it, uh, I was listening to this lady, as I was saying earlier, Tim Hortons. This Dr. Jeremiah, so and so, or whatever, and you know, also so forth. So I don't know Dr. Jeremiah. I only know the book of Jeremiah. Hallelujah, first God. I don't know what Dr. So and so Jeremiah. You know, first God, uh, uh, the secular, first God, but. Uh, Oh, he's, he's great about talk about the end time prophecy and so forth and so on and and uh, so forth and so on. Uh, yeah, he's good at great. Uh, there's so Tex Mars and so is uh, half a million other pre uh, preachers out there. Uh, great about uh, talking about uh, uh, the uh, end time prophecy, but they're not at all uh, great at all talking about the gospel, about the Bible. No praise God. They're not at all uh, great to tell you how to to uh, escape all that. What it takes to be free from sin. What it takes to be righteous. What it takes to be perfect. Amen, praise God, so you can meet Jesus in the air, so you can escape all those end times. They're great at telling you about what events that's going to happen, and, and so forth and so on. And Jesus said that man's uh, heart's going to be failing, looking for those things on the earth, because they're listening to these preachers talk about the end times. But they're not at all telling you how to be uh, escaping from those end times. No, praise God, glory praise God. How are we going to escape from those end times? No, praise God. They're not at all going to, they're not at all, going to at all uh, uh, tell you how to escape those end times. No, praise God, glory praise God. They're just... Uh, Telling you uh, that it's um, got what it's going to be like and so forth and so on. But yeah, but I'm interested in how I can get out of that. You know, praise God. What is it going to take for me to meet Jesus in the air? When the Son of Man cometh, shall I find faith on the earth? He's going to be finding the filth. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. What's going to take to be free from sin? Well, get in the Bible because the words they speak to your spirit in your life, John 6, 63, repent ye and believe the gospel. Amen, praise God. Uh, not uh, repent ye and believe God. You know, believe the gospel. Start believing your Bible. Amen, praise God. He set himself from seal that God is true, praise God. I set myself from seal that God is true, that the word of God is true, that Jesus Christ is true. Amen, praise God, that the truth in Christ and I line up, Paul says. Amen, hallelujah, praise God. For verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man, if a man, if you're going to do it, you know, praise God, it's a lot, it's a big if. You know, if a man love me, and said, so when the man loves me, if you love me, keep my commandments, keep my word. If a man uh, keep my saying, he shall never taste sin. He shall never taste death. Amen, praise God, glory, Jesus, praise God. Because why? Because there's, there's therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of spirit life in Christ Jesus set me free from the law of sin and death, praise God. Because, amen, praise God, they shall never taste death. No, praise God, because Jesus set us free from the law of sin and death, set us free from condemnation. No, praise God, you go to church, uh, you know, uh, uh, people just try to look good, and uh, it's their uh, righteousness, praise God, and they're just as open uh, white sepulchers, Jesus said, uh, nothing but full of dead men's bones and hypocrisies, and they're just going to church just to look good and uh, sing songs and go to Sunday school and uh, just to look good as a Sunday school preacher, uh, teacher, whatever, and, and we're divorced and remarried people. I'm on my fifth wife or my third wife, and the preacher's on his fourth or fifth wife, and the congregation's on their uh, uh, second or third wife, and the preacher's not all going to talk about divorce and marriage because he's just as filthy as they are. You know, praise God, it's sickly, praise God. Uh, so no wonder they can't judge. You know, praise God, every Christian, you can't judge, you can't say that. Well, guess what? You know, it's already written in the Bible long before... USA Today or long before Canada, uh, Canada Post or uh, Toronto Star or uh, Edmonton Journal or uh, Calgary Herald was, uh, this Bible was uh, out there, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, uh, written for mankind, praise God, it's written for uh, uh, animal kind, it wasn't written for the animal kingdom, it was written for the man kingdom, praise God, the human being kingdom, praise God, not for the Pope's monkeys, they're supposed to be uh, wearing, he says that there's no man of a magic wand, this guy, well, it was never a magic wand to begin with, God wasn't walking around with his wand and poof the star was. There, no, he uh, used words, praise God, glory, praise God, used words, he planned it all out, used words, and boom, they're going to appear that Jesus is uh, going to be uh, uh, doing what God says, his specifications, according to his blueprints, and boom, that's it, hallelujah, praise God, because Jesus is the word, God's word in the flesh, praise God, not God in the flesh, his word, praise God, but this is what uh, Christianity don't understand, why it says that the word was God, because why, because it's a metaphor that he can make things, but praise God, glory, praise God, this is what uh, People don't understand, so they go into Isaiah, so they try to cancel that. And okay, well, I'm going to go into Isaiah. It says, uh, He shall be called. That's right. He didn't say, I shall be called. He, him. You know, they have to go back to learn this from English at school for crying out loud. What an abomination. Well, how does Tom say the uh, mighty God? Well, that's right. He didn't say the Almighty, the mighty. The Everlasting, well, say the everlasting Father. Well, that's right. He uh, didn't say the. Uh, 
Uh, is it saying a mighty fire? No, praise God, the everlasting fire, because heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. You know, it's like, uh, you know, like Jesus said, oh, now because you see, you see, therefore your sin remains, because now you're not going to do what, uh, uh, what I taught you. No, praise God, you should be shutting your eyes to those, uh, uh, to your sins and say, you know what, I'm going to give up that dead teaching, I'm going to shut my eyes to that and uh, no longer be around, so I'm going to be dead to that and I'm going to be blind and that's it, when you're blind, you won't uh, see your sin, but now because you see and they don't want to give it up, you know, praise God, praise God, I've been kicked off of so many websites because uh, they call me, uh, you know, uh, they don't want to hear my teaching because I don't go by their teaching that Jesus is God, no, because Jesus said uh, that uh, I must work the works of him that sent me and he said in John chapter 20 verse uh, uh, eight, uh, somewhere around there, it says, this is that, uh, touch me not, uh, Mary, for I go to my God and your God, my Father and your Father. He didn't say, uh, I go to myself. You know, is there another God that God goes to? Does it go to Buddha? Does it go to Muhammad? You know, it, it makes no sense that the, the gospel is the Antichrist gospel, 100%. So, praise God, glory, praise God. So, you know, Jesus was praying to his Father in heaven in John 17, and then he was praying in uh, Luke chapter 22 that the uh, Father for all possible, let this cup by me, call him Father. He didn't call himself Father. He's talking to Father, and you uh, this Heavenly Father is God, praise God. And Paul says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord yeah, Jesus Christ. Didn't say, Blessed be God, Father of Jesus Christ. No, Blessed be God and Father. I've had so many people kick me out of the rooms and whatnot because, you know, I've come up with the truth. And, and uh, they said, I had one guy, you know, trying to, oh, what a prof, what an abomination just to him to pray, to hear that guy pray. Uh, Jesus, Father, God. You know, like, yes, 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 Jesus, Father, God. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, two things, you know, for guys. Uh, these three agree in one, which means they don't disagree, they don't differentiate, they don't uh, uh, disagree, they agree. You know, for guys, these three agree in one, these three are one. You no, know, for guys, it's, it's another way of saying it. What John uses the metaphor in First John chapter five. He says these three are one, which means what? This is that uh, well, you have the uh, the Father, which is the beginning, God, the Word, which is made flesh, and the Spirit. You know, for God, uh, you know, for God, uh, that. Uh, uh, Jesus said the words that speak your spirit in your life, praise God, and uh, that praise God, I mean, praise God, the words that speak your spirit, you know, praise God, uh, you know, praise God, and, the, and of course, the, the Holy Spirit, praise God, so that's it, praise God, the Holy Ghost comes by the Word of God, praise God, and uh, glory to Jesus, praise God, and these three are one, which means they're not one that thing that become, they're not three things that become one thing, like Christianity, uh, uh, that uh, Christianity of the hour thinks is, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, 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 it's uh, one thing that became three things because I think it's God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. It's 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 three things that become one. Mean not, not one thing into one solid object like you and I uh, could uh, take uh, two uh, pieces of uh, of uh, of uh, whatever like of uh, of a uh, plastic and then we could merge them and glue them together. No, but we're talking about uh, uh, you know uh, three things that won't disagree. So if you have uh, three uh, types of plastic, different types of plastic. Well, they're not going to disagree with each other saying it's not plastic. You know, because it's all green piece of plastic. They're not going to disagree and say you're you're brown or you're blue. No, they're going to say yeah. You know, we're we're all uh, we're, it's all agreement yet yeah, that, that they're going to agree it's plastic, it's plastic, it's green plastic or whatever. You know, praise God, glory to God. They're not going to disagree if it's if it's all green plastic. And it's just like going into a, a boardroom. Here's a better example: a, a boardroom. You know, praise God. Uh, and it's like uh, we have uh, eight people agreeing on one motion. Praise God. It's not uh, uh, eight people uh, becoming. Uh, uh, you know, praise God. It's not uh, eight people becoming uh, one thing or one thing becoming eight people. You know, where Christianity has. You no, know, it's eight people, eight uh, separate people that are uh, uh, that are one. Praise God. One accord. One mind. Praise God. That's it. It's not uh, eight people that uh, become one thing. You know, praise God. This is the problem with Christianity is that they don't understand the Bible, so they don't understand English, so they're going to uh, mess up. It's uh, it's uh, three in one. Three things that uh, are uh, uh, that become uh, uh, that don't disagree. That are one mind. Praise God. How could two walk together except they be agreed? So it's three things that don't disagree. So they're one accord. So if I say, yeah, I'm going to the movies with you to a friend of mine. Yes, we are one. We're uh, of the same mind. Now if I say I'm going golfing, and my friend says, "You know what? I'm going to go and have a, a donut at the donut shop." Well, you know what's going. To, you know what that is. You're not the same mind. You're not agreeing, are you? No. So he says, "So you get so I come to walk together. Agree. You can't go to the donut shop and play golf at the same time. You know, for this guy, unless you have a, a, a mini golf course in the in the donut store, but they don't hear Tim Hortons. Not yet, anyways. So I mean, like you, you can't just uh, go to the donut store and play golf at the same time uh, in the outdoor green. You know, for this guy, you're going to be one or the other. For this guy, and they don't." Uh, 
uh, you know, you're going to agree or going to disagree, praise God. So in Amos chapter 3 says, how could two walk together except they be agreed? And Jesus never disagreed with his father. He never said in Genesis 1, uh, you know, uh, father, you do what you want to do, uh, do what you feel like. I'm going to do uh, my own thing, uh, so forth and so on. Know that, uh, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. He never said that. You know, praise God, this is the problem with uh, Christianity. It's, 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 it's that uh, they uh, all uh, believe that uh, it's all uh, a, uh, a one a uh, one and three. When it's actually a three and one. Uh, three things that do not disagree. Praise God, glory, praise God. So, uh, it's, it's, what an abomination Christianity has out there for mankind. No sin, praise God. It should be called uh, uh, devilings. I mean, it's the uh, Christians. No, praise God, glory, praise God. Hallelujah. For verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste death. No, praise God, I mean, praise God. So, so, he shall never taste sin. He shall never taste death. You know, praise God. Uh, do what the Bible says. You know, praise God. Keep my saying. What's that? Be therefore perfect as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Go and sin no more. Uh, no, praise God. Glory, praise God. Matthew chapter 5. The Beatitudes and Similitudes. He look upon one to lust after her, commit adultery, or with her in his heart. Uh, you know, praise God. Glory, praise God. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, to uh, do good to your enemies. Pray for them that despite they use you. You know, praise God. Keep the saints. So, praise God. Uh, you know, but Christianity, they're not interested in keeping the saints. They're just interested in profaning Jesus and putting them down and uh, and mocking them and canceling the Bible and because uh, they don't understand why saints, so they gotta uh, they gotta uh, cancel him and they got to uh, 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 my scriptures better than your scriptures, so forth and so on, like a bunch of two-year-olds. My scriptures better than your scripture because Jesus said this. Well, they don't cancel what Jesus said. You're trying to cancel Jesus' saints, so Jesus' saints, because you don't understand what Jesus is saying. Because your church, your 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 filthy. Rotten, good for nothing church as a Sunday school church has taught you nothing. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. That's why you have to come out from among them. You hear my voice, you hear me preach. Praise God, glory, praise God. You got the uh, the evangelist Andrew Kelly here, praise God, uh, for the perfecting of the saints. The pastor, the teacher, the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist for what? The perfecting of the saints, not for the um, perverting of the saints. Absolutely not. You know, praise God. This is what we have a problem with: is the uh, perverting. Of the uh, saints out there, we got a lot of gospel perverts. You know, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So this is what uh, uh, we 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 got to uh, get in the Bible and start uh, reading and start uh, doing what the Bible says. Glory. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we got a lot of perverts, uh, a lot of gospel perverts out there, and not a lot of uh, doers out there. Amen. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. And uh, you know, praise God that He uh, keep my saints shall never taste death. Do you think that Christians are interested in keeping the saints? Absolutely not. You know, praise God, they're interested in keeping the saints. They wouldn't be perverting the gospel. They wouldn't be making it uh, Swiss cheese. They'd be reading the Bible. They'd be fearing God. You know, praise God, just like Ananias and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5, where they uh, threw away the witchcraft books and whatnot. They, they started fearing God when they seen all these uh, things, what Peter was doing and uh, what Paul was doing. And praise God, they started, uh, you know, that's it, uh, uh, fearing God. And finally, you know, that's it. They, 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 they turn around. Praise God, glory, praise God. But uh, unbelievable with the uh, people, you know, that's it. They're not interested in uh, keeping the saints. They're just interested in. Uh, uh, in uh, uh, in uh, uh, being sinners and uh, interested in being the children of the devil and uh, can't stop sinning and they're going full force more than those uh, Satan worshippers are. Uh, you know, praise God, that's it. They're going full force uh, to uh, uh, to uh, to serve that uh, fallen angel who's uh, that's, uh, that's blinded them. Uh, praise God, they uh, kept them blind. Uh, and Paul says, we're not ignorant of his devices, but Christianity of the hour is because they don't read the Bible. They read other books, but not the Bible. Praise God, glory, praise God. But, uh, amen, praise God, that's it, glory, praise God. But uh, I'm going to uh, finish this off with uh, Colossians uh, chapter uh, uh, Colossians uh, chapter uh, 3, verse 16. No, praise God, we're here, we're talking about that, uh, uh, that uh, research should keep uh, my saying, should never taste death. Praise God. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom. What does it say in Proverbs chapter 4? Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forsake her not. You know, praise God. You know what the problem with Christianity is? They've forsaken the Bible. You know, praise God. They've gone after other books. And Revelation chapter 1 says, Because thou hast left thy first love. And you know, praise God. That's it. Repent. Or, uh, or, uh, because thou hast first left thy first love. Uh, you know, I'll do this unto you, praise God. So you're going to pay for that, for leaving your first love. It's going to pay. In uh, sort of Revelation uh, chapter uh, uh, chapter 2, you know, praise God, and it says right here that, uh, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, for where hence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. 
uh, for else or else I come unto thee quickly and remove the candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. You know, praise God. And in the six, if thou repent, you'll, you'll pay for it, praise God. And uh, uh, repent and do the first works. You know, praise God. Uh, Jeremiah says, this is that, seek ye the old uh, paths. You know, praise God. We're in dwell of righteousness. But they said, no, we won't do it. You know, praise God. And that's what the church is the hour. It's so stubborn. Uh, and involved, uh, uh, gone from iniquity to iniquity. They're, got, they're gathering together for the worse, not for the better, praise God. And uh, instead of from go going uh, like I am, praise God, go praise God for that past uh, 19 years now, from going from glory to glory. Going from iniquity to iniquity, praise God, glory, praise God, and uh, even uh, rebellion, they rebel against the scriptures, and this has the sin of witchcraft, praise God. Even Jesus said, new wine cannot be placed in uh, old bottles, praise God, and the new wine is Jesus, praise God, this is the word of God, the gospel of Christ. Amen, praise God, we've got to have the new wine. Let the word of God, Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, praise God, teaching and admonishing one another. Praise God, hallelujah. What, uh, what is Christianity doing? Oh, we can't stop sinning. Well, that's not teaching and admonishing one another. Praise God, that's not at all teaching uh, in the psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing with grace into the hearts of the Lord. And what's your work indeed? Do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. You know, praise God, that's, 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 that's not admonishing one another. That's perverting one another, praise God. That's it, praise God. The wage of the sin is death, praise God. And that's why people are coming up with plagues, and there's more plagues uh, uh, today and more murders today than there was 150 years ago because uh, men have uh, left off the first love. And men, praise God, men have not let this uh, word of Christ dwell in you richly because they uh, let it dwell in them uh, richly. They shall never taste death because they keep my saying, shall never taste death, praise God, glory, praise God. But the problem is, is that men don't uh, want to, you know, uh, uh, do what the Bible says, and they love tasting death. And the Bible says this is that the sting of sin is death. Amen, praise God. There you go in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, and uh, James says this is that the deceitfulness of sin. Amen, praise God. That's it, that, uh, uh, that when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. No, praise God, glory, praise God, the deceitfulness of sin. Amen, praise God. Moses, in, uh, 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 in Hebrews chapter 11, praise God, to rather suffer affliction with his people than to enjoy the pleasures of sin and the riches of Egypt for a season. Praise God. And this is uh, what we're here for, for a season, like a vapor. Uh, we're here as pilgrims, strangers passing by, because I could, uh, my life could end tomorrow, uh, five minutes from now, ten minutes from now, ten years from now, a hundred years from now. I don't know. My hand is in, the, my breath is in the hand of God, my soul, my body, my health, praise God, is uh, in the hand of Dr. Jesus, praise God, his son. And that's it, praise God, glory, praise God. And that's it, that the word dwelled me richly. It says in Psalm 91 that the arrows, uh, the pestilence that fly by shall not bother me, and, and things that fly by in the middle of the night will not bother you. Praise God, glory, praise God. And John says, this is that, uh, I mean, I would that uh, thou prosperous, even thy soul prosperous in third uh, uh, John, in third epistle of John, chapter uh, 1. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. But uh, we have the problem out there uh, is, 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 is that, uh, that the word of Christ uh, uh, that does dwell richly in all wisdom. They don't want this, praise God. You, you go on there and you, t you tell them that, and they'll kick you off the website. They don't want you. You know, that's it. Goodbye. You know, that's it because they're not interested. I mean, praise God. If Jesus were around, they'd probably crucify him all over again. Why? Because the Christians of the hour, they're so in love with their dead uh, flesh, their dead uh, doctrines, and uh, that's it. Praise God. And they don't want to turn from it. Well, you know, that's it. If I be a trans I'd be a transgressor, if I build up the things which I destroyed. So these Christians of the hour, you know, they haven't uh, destroyed anything. And they're still wearing the basketball shoes and the, and the, and the sports uniforms. So I was... Uh, 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 looking at uh, one day at 100 Huntley Street, and this is uh, oh, about 18, 19 years ago, uh, uh, when I was just getting in the gospel, and this black guy was sitting there uh, wearing his basketball uniforms and his uh, tank top uh, t-shirt, and uh, what does he say? He says uh, to uh, um, he says uh, to us, uh, is, 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 uh, or to the people, I should say, or, sorry, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to say what he's saying. He's saying, uh, oh, well, you know, say this little prayer, the sinner's prayer. And, you know, it all, he did not at all, you know, take off the basketball shirt or got rid of uh, whatever, you know, that's it. Uh, you know, he's, he's still playing basketball. He's still doing that. And he feels fine because he thinks he accepted Christ in his heart. Well, you accept Christ in your heart just as much as Muhammad ever accepted Christ in his heart. The only way to accept Christ uh, is in your heart is to get in the Word, praise God, because the Bible says he'll give you a new heart of flesh. You know, praise God, Christ don't want your, your stony heart. You know, that's why we've got stony preachers who still have stony hearts and hardness of uh, stiff, uh, stiff neck. You know, preacher like Pharaoh, uh, you know, praise God, uh, who's uh, uh, got philosophy and being deceit. And after the rudiments of the world, I mean, praise God, beware dogs, beware of uh, concision. You know, praise God, praise God, these people are out there to uh, make a heyday of the gospel. The Peter says this is that they're false preachers. 
uh, false teachers, you know, there's false preachers among you. Uh, you may praise God, glory to praise God. So this is uh, uh, where, uh, you know, praise God, said, who shall bring in with uh, uh, using faint words, shall uh, make merchandise of you and shall speak evil of the truth. You know, praise God, this is what they're doing. They're speaking evil of this gospel. They're not speaking the truth in love. They're speaking the uh, uh, the truth uh, in an evil way. You know, praise God, they're not speaking the, the, the real truth. They're speaking the false truth. Praise God, glory praise God. But we're here to present to you the gospel of Christ as is written, the King James Bible, to uh, let the word of Christ uh, dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and my nation, one another, and psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing grace in your hearts to the Lord. Now, who's singing that into the Lord? They're just got it on, the, on an overhead projector, and they're just they got the words up there, and they don't even use the hymn books anymore. Praise God that they don't use the song books. And they got an overhead projector, so that way that uh, you know that's it. You, uh, you you say what we say. You read our funny Bible. They don't even have the King James anymore. And the Bible calls it a superfluity of naughtiness in the uh, Book of James, chapter one. Uh, you know, praise God that's it. That they don't at all uh, uh, take heed to the Bible. They're not at all uh, doing what the Bible says. And uh, that's it. That uh, this is what uh, we have out there. Uh, a, uh, a a Christianity, a nation of unbelievers, uh, people full of unbelief. You know, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, sick, glory, praise God. So this is what uh, we got to uh, do, is to start uh, preaching the Bible, praise God. That's it, because he that keepeth my sayings shall never taste death. If man love me, he'll keep my words. But they're not keeping his words, they're keeping the words of a funny Bible, a, 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 a funny version. And I tell people a funny Bible is a funny church. And this is what we have, funny church preachers, funny Bible preachers, who've been to Bible school, what to get bewitched. Who have bewitched you, O foolish Galatians, that ye should not obey uh, the uh, truth thereof, praise God. Have you been made so perfect, beginning in the spirit, now begin, now are made perfect in the flesh? You know, praise God, one time you, you were going to give me uh, all your money, you're, you pluck your eyes out, you know, praise God, you're going to give me everything you had, uh, and you know, praise God, that's it, Lord, praise God, you're going to do like what Peter's church says uh, in Acts chapter 5, have all things in common, and that uh, to sell those uh, possessions that you have no need of, and uh, uh, to uh, get rid of those things, to, so we can fervor in the gospel. Now, all of a sudden, you want to kill me. You, know, you want to take a gun and shoot me, or a sword to, 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 to cut my head off, you know, the, just like the Muslims, they want to cut off the Christian's head, because why? Because they don't like Jesus, because as much as the unbelieving Christians don't like Jesus, they want to talk about God. You don't mind you talk about God. You can sit there and talk about God as long as uh, you don't talk about Jesus. You don't uh, offend their perverted Antichrist wife beating uh, Muhammad uh, with his Antichrist gospel. You don't offend uh, their, uh, uh, their 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 dead uh, doctrines, the devils and seducing spirits. You know, Christians don't mind talking about God, but as soon as you talk about the Son of God, Jesus Christ, watch out. They don't like that. You know, praise God. Well, I love it. Hallelujah, praise God, because he's coming back. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah, glory, praise God. Trouble God's going to sound. And uh, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. Praise God. And uh, according to First Thessalonians chapter four, you know, praise God. And they, we which are alive shall be caught up together to meet Jesus in the air. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We got those funny Bibles now. Perverted. People are dead and twice dead, plucked up by the roots. And the Bible says this is that uh, uh, to beware, like uh, not to be uh, uh, moved uh, by uh, letter as from us or epistle as from us. You know, because. Why? Because these Bibles are saying that they're Paul's letters when they're not. They're not the Gospel of Christ. They're just the Gospel of man. They've just darted out certain words and they're trying to uh, pass off as Paul's writing through their father the devil because he's transformed as the angel of light and no marvel his ministers shall be transformed as ministers of uh, as uh, righteousness whose end shall be according to the works. They're all going to talk about Jesus and uh, uh, preach about Jesus but which one? You know, praise God. They're going to talk about that Jesus is God or uh, Jesus is Son of God. No, praise God. Some, you know, lots of them will confess Jesus is Son of God but then they, they can't Stay free from sin. They can't be this, can't be that, can't be that, can't be that, can't be, can't be. Well, I do the can can. Let's do the can can. Hallelujah. We can. Praise God. I can do all things in Christ who strength of us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Let's do the can can. Amen. Praise God. Let's do what the Bible says. Glory. Praise God. Let's preach the word. Amen. Praise God. In season, out of season. Let's preach the word. Go and sin no more. That's the worst thing come upon thee. Hellfire brimstone. Because every man is going to be facing that. Revelation 21 8. You know, praise God. Uh, if your name's not found, uh, if your name's the unbeliever, drunkard, fornicator, adulterer, uh, whoremonger, uh, unrighteous, uh, you name it, praise God, that's it. Uh, you'll be found cast alive in the lake which birth of fire brimstone because your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You know, praise God. Well, you're judging, Andrew. You're judging, Evangelist Andrew Kelly. You're judging because my Bible says, Judge not that lest you be judged. Well, did you ever read it? It didn't say you can't judge. Pull the meat of your own eye first. Then you could judge, praise God, which means we're judging righteous justice. We're not uh, here to cast you in heaven and hell. No, we're here to judge what the sin of the Lord says. So it's all written. Praise God, you just uh, don't want it because you're using that as an excuse saying we don't want it because you're judging yourself unworthy of everlasting life because these words are getting under your skin, they're getting under your flesh, and you don't want it because you're entertaining the devil so long. Is that you, that's why you, you, you're called the devil. And the Bible says, if any man offend not in word, 
which means you're not offended by what I say in James chapter 2, uh, then the same as a perfect man, able to bridle the whole body. Men, glory to praise God. So this is what uh, we have to do is get in the Bible, get in the gospel of Christ, men, to turn around, praise God. Repent, you believe the gospel. Believe this Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to praise God. That's it. Re re believe the Bible. If you're not going to believe the Bible, you're not going to believe anything that's written in the Bible. You know, like most Christians, they say that uh, it's, uh, no, we're not saved by works. Well, you know what? You're not saved then because I stay saved by works. Faith without works is dead, James says. You know, praise God. Strive to enter in. You know, striving against sin. Praise God. Glory to praise God. You know, praise God. So that's it. That it's works. So keep yourselves in love of God. Save yourselves. You say God's going to do it, but Christians expect God to be their butler. Forget it, praise God, glory, praise God. And so we got to strive to enter in, praise God. We've got to get into this Bible, praise God, hallelujah. In uh, Samuel, First uh, Samuel uh, chapter 2, the uh, chapter 3, the Bible says, uh, uh, chapter 2, chapter uh, chapter 3, the Bible says uh, that the Word of God is precious. Amen, praise God. Just like it is today, there's a famine in the land, not of uh, bread or of water, but of hearing of the Word of God, praise God, glory, praise God. And this is what it is today, praise God. So they've, they've taken away from the Bible and added to the Bible. And, God shall add the plagues written in this book, and amen shall take away. God shall take away their part of the book, and he said, I'll add the plagues of uh, or Egypt that I was afraid of. And today, that look at the, the whole world. they got AIDS, and they got all these new diseases, all these new uh, viruses, and they don't know how to handle this Ebola anymore, and uh, they don't know how to handle that, so forth and so on. Well, why don't they straighten out and start living holy for Christ, get rid of their sin? You know, first God, because there's well, no good thing in your flesh when you're, when you're a sinner. I, I used to be a sinner. Uh, amen. Praise God. Romans 6, 18, being made free from sin, you become the servants of righteousness. An ex-sinner saved by grace. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to read this last scripture. Praise God. Praise God. If you don't let the word of God dwell in you, look what's going to happen. You know, praise God. Amen. That's it. If uh, uh, thou wilt not observe the words that are written in this law, uh, praise God, uh, words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear his glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and plagues are a seed of even great plagues of long continuance and sore sickness and long continuance. Praise God. Moreover, he will bring upon thee the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Jesus said, you promise you'll, you'll not see death. You keep my saints. He'll take that cancer. He'll take that plague. He'll take that AIDS. He'll take that whatever. He'll uh, clean you up. If you want to clean up, praise God. He'll wash you in his blood. Praise God. And men, as I said, medical science can never do. You know, praise God, no matter how big of a laser or microscope or whatever scalpel that they have to cut you open. You know, praise God, they can never completely eradicate something. Like they say, if the cancer comes back, we'll get in the Bible, praise God, because uh, uh, that, uh, you know, that's it. That, uh, I mean, the Word of God is the only thing that we eradicate, praise God, once and for all, praise God. And also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them the Lord will bring upon thee till thou be destroyed. Well, praise God, clergy, praise God, and it says is that... Um, and the Lord came, verse 63, and the Lord came to pass, and it shall come to pass that the Lord rejoice over you to do good and multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to, de to destroy you, to uh, bring you to naught, and you shall be plucked off from the land, whether you go goes to uh, possess it, praise God. So there you go, praise God, uh, the, where thou goes to possess it. So, you know, praise God, the problem with Christianity, uh, and they, 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 they seem to be, loved, uh, to be plucked off the land because uh, they're not at all keeping up with the Bible, not reading the Bible, not uh, not at all interested in the Bible. They're just interested in the sports and the, and the program, the church guides, and in the, in the, in the itchy uh, ears ministry, but they're not at all interested in the Bible. Well, praise God, glory, praise God, you know, to uh, get wisdom, get understanding, praise God, the Proverbs chapter 4, but, uh, you know, praise God, because, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that uh, they're just uh, rejoicing, you know, the Lord's rejoicing, uh, uh, you know, that's it, that, uh, well, it's, first of all, they haven't even done any good yet, you know, praise God, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, praise God, these uh, preachers, but uh, once you come to the knowledge of God, as Peter says, uh, in Second uh, Peter uh, chapter uh, 2, is, 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 is that uh, once they come to the uh, knowledge of uh, God, and uh, they turn from the Holy Commandment that was once delivered unto them, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, it's like the uh, the bird, uh, the sow return to uh uh, the pig returned to his mire, and the, uh, the dog uh, uh, going uh, back to his own vomit. You know, praise God, the sicklers, praise God, this is what uh, we have out there. This is that uh, people, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, that, uh, uh, you know, to turn away from God, and that's why that there's few who are going to be saved, praise God. It's, it's, and uh, Christianity is turned away from it, and uh, just like a dog uh, returns to his own vomit, or the sow, it's the walling of, uh, you know, it's the walling of the mire, praise God, back to the mud, the pig going back to the mud. And this is the problem with Christianity, is this is that they do not, not at all have any love of the truth, praise God, glory, because they did. They were not all perverts. The gospel the way it is, glory, Jesus, praise God. So, eventually, Sandra Kelly, praise God, telling you to read your Bible. Praise God, read the Bible. You remember, praise God, without the gospel of Christ, 
it is hell, fire, brimstone. Men glorious, praise God, hallelujah, glorious, praise God, amen, hallelujah. So that's it, praise God. Without Jesus Christ, the Son of God, there's no love of God in a man or a woman or a human being. I don't care how many times you say God loves you, God loves you. I want you to say God wants to love you through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Son of God. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Because you love me, keep my words, keep my commandments. In John 14, praise God, hallelujah, glorious, praise God. Evangelist Andrew Kelly, uh, in the King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, start reading your Bible. Amen, glorious, praise God, amen, hallelujah.